When asked where I'm from, I always reply that I come from Berlin, although, like 82 million people, I'm German. But it always feels that saying I'm from Berlin is closer to the truth, probably because I grew up in West Berlin, and it was a special city. It was a small island in the middle of the GDR. In West Berlin, we were locked in because we were surrounded by the GDR. And each time we left the city, we had to go through East German customs and police checks. Not far from our house, about a kilometer away, was one of the three border posts for leaving the city by car. We generally had to show our documents and fill in a large number of forms. We had to wait in a queue, and we never knew why or how long we would have to wait. Interrogations were unpleasant. East German policemen would come with pickaxes. We had to get out of the car. They would push up their pickaxes under the car seats to make sure there was nobody hidden underneath. We had to open the boot and the tank, and they would stick their pickaxes in to check that we hadn't tampered with it to let someone out who we'd hidden in the tank cavity. It was very unpleasant. Then, there was another checkpoint to leave the GDR and check that we had not let someone out on the way. I think because of this containment, people from Berlin felt their identity as Berliners more keenly than ever. I still have the identity card that I had when I lived in West Berlin. It was gray, and you could read. That is, provisional identity card. It was different to that of the West Germans because on theirs was written identity card, period, and it was green. So this was a sign that differentiated us from them. West Berlin was the window to the west. It had been built for that purpose. We had everything. Freedom of expression, freedom to buy. We had the Kurfürstendamm, a big avenue with nice shops. It was better than anywhere else in East Germany for shopping. West Germans and Berliners were not really curious about the East. But East Berliners and Germans did rush to West Berlin. For a great many GDR inhabitants, after the wall fell, West Berlin was the closest you could get to see the West. And the first weekend after the fall of the wall, we realized to what extent West Berlin had served as a window to the West, to what extent East Germans yearned for it. They were circling the city from outside, and we were going round in circles inside. They were going around it and looking at the wall and beyond. There were places in East Berlin where you felt like you were 
in the West. À l'Ouest, et euh, il y a des, un écrivain, Jan Schmarcho, qui raconte... A writer from East Berlin, Jan Schmarcho, explained how he would sometimes go with his friends to specific places in the East, which gave him the feeling of being in the West, and he yearned for the West. Et il, il se languissait d'être à l'Ouest. Quand on parle de Berlin-Ouest... Any description of West Berlin would be incomplete without mentioning the nightlife. Berlin was the only city where the restaurants, discos, and nightclubs would never close. They were unique entertainment venues. This was what made Berlin so attractive to tourists. They had to be given a reason to go to Berlin, to this enclosed city. It was not enough to say, you have to do your patriotic duty and go and see the brave people who live there, see how they resist communism. They are heroes in this fight for freedom. With time, it became normal to resist communism because it lasted for quite a while. So nightlife was a way to attract tourists to West Berlin. On November 9, 1989, I was in Vienna and saw East Germans every day outside my building. They were trying to find a way to reach the West. I watched the fall live on television. I remember a feeling of relief that I couldn't explain. Of course, I felt joy, and it was a great moment. Everybody was very happy that the wall had come down, and I longed to go to Berlin. Mais euh, le sentiment le plus fort, c'était quand même le soulagement, parce que je me suis dit, enfin. But the strongest feeling I had was one of relief, above all, because I thought, at last, negotiations with these apparatchiks from the communist countries that I covered as a news correspondent are over. Ça va être fini. Je vais pouvoir dire, je suis I will be able to say. I am German. It's the only time in my life when I felt I was more German than a Berliner. Plus que Berlinoise.